Hi, welcome back to Penguin Tech. In this video, we're going to show you how to connect all the software to get your Raspberry Pi to connect to the top button. Let's do it. The first thing we will need to do is set up a static IP address on the Raspberry Pi. To do this, the, you will log on to your router, and each router will have a different layout, so some of these buttons might be labeled differently, um, but you should be able to follow this general guide to be able to reserve an IP address for your Raspberry Pi. So the button I'll click on is connectivity, which is under router settings. And now I will go to the local network. And here you can see we have this button that's labeled DHCP reservations. And we will click on that. And we can reserve specific IP addresses for each device on the network. So I will take the coffee pie, which I know is has the IP address 10.168.200.114 because I logged onto the Pi and I typed ifconfig and that's the IP address that it is currently using so this is the Pi that we will need and I will select it and add the DHCP reservation and it's as simple as that and we will hit OK Wait for the router to accept the new configuration and the static IP address should be set. Next on the Raspberry Pi what we will have to do is install the Apache server and the PHP uh, repositories. So to install the Apache server open your terminal and type in sudo apt git install apache2 and this will bring down the repository and install the Apache server. Just hit Y for yes. Now that we have the Apache server installed, we will install the PHP. So to do this, you will type in sudo apt git install php5. And just hit yes. And once that downloads, that is all you will need to install on your Raspberry Pi to be able to create the Raspberry Pi controlled copy pot. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to show you how to set up your Python code. Um, in this, I actually used uh, the Sublime Text Editor. Um, so it is Sublime Text Editor for Python 2.7. Um, the first thing we do here is we import the time uh, so that we can tell the code how long to run for. Um, and then we import the GPIO uh, commands. And then this basically lets you use the GPIO open uh, commands on the Pi. Uh, then you want to do the GPIO set mode. Uh, this will let you set the mode of the pin. Then you have the set warnings command. Uh, you need to set it for false for this code to work. Uh, then Ideally, we want to select pin 17, which is actually the hardware pin number 11 on the Raspberry Pi. So I don't know why they set it up that way. That's just how it's set up on the Pi. The GPIO pin 17 corresponds to pin 11 on the Pi. Now, we need to do the GPIO setup. Uh, we're going to tell that pin to do an output. That's what this uh, command's doing here. And then the GPIO output, um, we're going to set it to high. So that basically means that 5 volts is going to come out of this pin uh, for the signal for our relay. Now the next step is uh, we have print turn copy on. Um, basically what this is saying is a hey, print this in the command line when you're running through it. And then we have the time sleep is 600. I'm going to go ahead and uncomment that. Uh, as you can see underneath it I have time sleep 10. What that what I did there was I set um, I set that as my uh, testing time is 10 seconds. So now we have a time sleep of 600, uh, we have print coffee off, and then the GPIO output uh, pin, which is our variable up here, pin 17, you want to turn that down to low, just basically just turn that pin off, and then you want to run the GPIO cleanup, which resets all the pins to their original uh, setup. So that's how to do the coffee on uh, code. 
So what, also what you want to do is you want to go ahead and save this. So we're going to call the save function here. And you're going to go ahead and save it on the desktop or wherever you can easily find it. And then we're going to use this code to run our on. Hey guys, we're doing the copy off file now. Um, we're still using the Sublime Text Editor for the Python code. Uh, what you're going to do is import the RPI GPIO as GPIO. This allows you to use GPIO as the main uh, selector for the commands. Then you're going to get the GPIO set mode of this and this will allow you to set the mode of the pin. So you're going to set the warnings to false just like we did before. Select pin 17 just like we did before. And then you're going to select the setup uh, GPIO out and you want to print coffee off uh, for this. And this will allow us to, this code right here, the GPIO output, GPIO pin low, um, allows us to turn that GPIO 17 position to off. And this code is uh, generally just for, just in case like you're making coffee, you don't have any water in the coffee pot, or if uh, you just want to turn the coffee off now. Uh, this is what this code is for. And so uh, also at the end of this we have GPIO cleanup which restores to the pins to the setting that they were normally at. In our case, uh, the, normally, uh, the normal setting was off. Now I will show you how to create the PHP scripts to call the Python scripts to manipulate the GPIO pins. To do this first, we will have to move all these files to the appropriate directory with, from the Apache server. So to do this, I had to use the chmod command from the terminal to change the properties of these folders so I can add folders and edit files in them. So the folders we will be using is var, www, and then here I created coffee and inside there is all of our scripts. And with the Apache server, whenever you put your IP address in the browser, it will take you to in, inside this www folder. So then you can see everything that you'll have in this folder. So inside of our coffee folder, there's the coffee.php, coffee.py, coffeeoff.php, and coffeeoff.py. So the coffee PHP will call the coffee script, and the coffee off will call the coffee off script. And the reason we used PHP and Python scripts is because we need something to call upon the Python file, because when we call the file on the Apache server, it will open the file. It won't run what is on the file, but the PHP file can run this coffee script. So to create the PHP file, what this does is it will execute a shell command to run whatever is inside these quotes. So to do this, the command we used was echo shell exec and then python coffee.py in quotes. And you will do, create the same file for python coffee off.py and just change the name inside of this executed command. And that is how you create the PHP scripts to call the Python scripts. Hey guys, uh, I'm back again and I'm here to show you how to change your GPIO pins so that you can access them remotely. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open a terminal. And in the terminal, uh, you, you're going to want to create a file. So to do this, we're going to do sudo, sorry, sudo nano, and you're going to type the name of the file that you want. So in this case, we're going to do superscript3, and we're going to select enter. So this will take us to uh, this script inside of the terminal. And so what, what you need to do here is type sudo chown pi www dash data and then slash div slash gpio men. 
And so what this does, uh, you also want to press uh, Control X to get out of it, and then press Y, and then press Enter to save. And so what this does is it allows you to include the GPIO commands as part of the Pi membership on startup of the Pi. That way you can automatically just connect the app to the Pi and you can just point in when you press the on button on the app, the Pi pin will work and the relay will work and the, pi, the coffee will turn on. So in order to ensure that the script, superscript file uh, will work on startup, we're going to go ahead and do sudo chmod 777 and then superscript 3. Uh, what this will do is this will change the read-write pr permissions of the file. Uh, so now the next step we need to do is we need to go to the bash file um, that's inside of this folder and it's hidden so you won't be able to see it if you're looking for it um, in, the, in the file explorer that we have. Alright, so sudo nano.bashrc so we're going to go all the way to the end of this file. Do not touch anything um, in this file except for this line here. Uh, you will not see this in your uh, bash RC file. That's because I added this. Uh, so you're going to change this. You're going to type superscript or dot slash superscript three. And what this will do, uh, now you're going to press uh, control X and then press Y and press enter. And this will allow you to uh, run that script upon startup. So basically what's going to happen is the pins are going to be uh, in the Pi group. Uh, this is a lot of technical jargon, but basically what you need to understand is you can now uh, access your GPIO pins with your app on startup of the Pi if you unplug it or plug it back into the wall. All right, guys, that's all I have for uh, this section. Thank you for watching our video and uh, please like and subscribe to us and leave a comment below if you want to see more videos like these or if you have any suggestions on what you'd like to see videos on. Alright, see you guys. Bye.